Greetings everyone. So I wanted to make this little video to show um, the, as far as I know, only sort of solution um, to correct perspective for a triple screen or ultra wide um, screen setup for sim racing and probably any other game. Um, the issue is that unless the game supports proper perspective correction, um, you will always have a very distorted image on the outside screens. Um, for me personally, this is really a problem because I even get motion sickness, especially in rally games, um, because when the car rotates, the image is just moving way too fast. So let me just show you what I mean by this uh, little example from Asset Corsa. So this first clip is with proper uh, triple screen setup. So the left and right screens are uh, set up to be 40 degrees um, angled in regards to the center screen. Um, lines are pretty straight and when the car rotates the image looks really natural. And the second clip is without the correct um, triple screen setup. And Especially in this tight hairpin, you can just see how on the outer screens the road, uh, the picture just is morphed, extremely stretched, and uh, yeah, in that case, it even gives me motion sickness. Uh, here, a side by side comparison, so you can really see what I mean by that. Um, the issue is that without proper triple screen support, the game you have to set up a giant. Um, widescreen and the game just renders a huge rectangular image that gets more and more distorted the further you get from the center. So now why would you want to correct that? As I said, for me personally I get motion sickness if the perspective is just completely off. Um, that's why I played many games in single screen only. Um, even I do have triples because I just couldn't drive it, especially in rally sims where you're going around tight hairpins. It's just too much for me. Um, it also gives you a quite false sense of speed and rotation, um, which is not really ideal for a rally game since you don't really have break, break points, break markers. And frankly, also, it just does not look great at all. So. Let's jump into the installation. We're going to use Reshade and a plugin called Perfect Perspective to sort of fix the image back to something that looks more natural. A little bit of a disclaimer. Reshade does come in two variants. One should be <laughs> ban safe. And there is another version that explicitly says use at your own risk don't use for something like competitive games which do have an anti-cheat. Just to put that out there, I'm not responsible for anything, any bans you might receive. Reshed should be safe, there are people using it all the time, but just a disclaimer, use it at your own risk. And also one little thing, if you're already using some sort of plugin that uses the direct, let's say, um, DirectX 9 DLL file from a game. Um, this would probably not work because Reshade uses this exact DLL, DirectX 9 or 11 or something, to inject its overlays into the game. So these two things have to be kept in mind. I will put down links for Reshade and the needed plugin in the description. And you need to be able to run the game across all three screens um, already because I'm not going to cover that in this video. How you do that doesn't really matter. Could be through the driver, could be through simple runtime window editor. It just needs to be across all, th all three screens. Now let's quickly jump through the installation of uh, Reshade and the plugin. Um, just double click on Reshade, select the game you want to inject the overlay into. Um, it should automatically automatically detect the engine of the game. If not, you might do might have to do a little bit of research to correctly put uh, input that. Um, you can basically deselect any of the overlays um, because we don't need them. You can just leave an in and uh, leave an in and disable them. Doesn't really matter. 
um, make sure that when you start the game the overlay shows up. You can open the overlay with, uh, I think the button is called home on English keyboards and position one, plus one uh, on like German keyboards. Make sure that pops up and then we need to install the plugin itself. If res reshade is installed correctly, you will find a reshade shaders folder inside the game folder that you just, um, yeah, for the game you just select it. Um, you need to copy this perfect perspective plugin into the folder of the game. I chose Formula 1 2015 for this small example. So there's reshade shaders, shaders, and just dump perfect perspective into there. Then you just start the game. Open reshade again. And then you should see the needed plugin on the left side. You can enable it. And now I'm quickly gonna show you the settings that I use, but again, try to set this up yourself to just get it to feel right. There's no re right or wrong, really. Just uh, play around with the few sliders you have until the perspective um, looks good enough and is not too distorted. And last but not least, a little clip from in-game where I toggle on and off the uh, correction. Now, it's I don't think it's the best clip to actually showcase this, but just try it out yourself. If you're struggling with motion sickness when driving, um, these games that don't have proper triple screen support, this might be the solution for you. Um, it's this way does degrade the visual quality quite a bit because you will get quite horrendous black borders on the outside screens and the only real way to fix that is to crop into the image. Um, as you can see the um, time on the top left just disappears because I have to crop in that far but for me it's the only real way um, to get around the motion sickness and for me that's a trade-off I'm willing to take. I hope this little video helped someone um, that might have the same issue that I have. Um, if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and well thanks for watching.